Good afternoon, folks. This is Mr. Green from Go Green Investments, the channel where we keep our investments between the lines and our money in the green. I hope you're having a prosperous day. I am seeing green in my investments. And thanks for those who joined me for my premiere this afternoon of live price action uh, with the green team. Much appreciated for those of you that joined. If you haven't had an opportunity to, to watch it, please do. Uh, some great live price action. Just wanted to touch base with you folks and and uh, give you the heads up that if you haven't had an opportunity to watch my video, the top 10 things not to do as an investor, please take the nine or 10 minutes to watch that video. It should be of great help to you. Uh, if you feel comfortable or you've already seen the video, take time to share that with a friend who was a newer investor, should be a very beneficial video to somebody uh, with respect to the mistakes and pitfalls that we often make as retail investors. And hey, none of us are perfect, including myself. Uh, I've made mistakes that, uh, that have taught me a great deal, but I wanted to share those 10 things with, with people and with folks in the community so that you'd have an opportunity to not make the same mistakes maybe I have. Um, had a very nice comment from a gentleman who watched the video and said, Mr. Green, I do eight out of 10 of these things on this video. Ah, so, hey, the first thing to, uh, the first thing to do is acknowledge, you know, that you're making a mistake and that you're going to correct that behavior. That's all you can do. And from there on forward, things should move in a more positive direction once you acknowledge that maybe you're not doing everything particularly right. In any case, I'm on my way to a meeting. I wanted to touch base. I wanted to mention uh, that particular video so you can have a look at that or share that video. Listen, I want to thank all of you for the support that you've given the channel and for your continued support. I do want to let you know because I have been asked numerous times, yes, I am available for individual consultations uh, and coaching and counseling. Uh, the best way to reach me about that is simply email me. I'll communicate with you there and we can uh, decide, you know, what best fits your needs as far as your need for personal coaching and counseling. I'm always happy to try to make time to do that. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to discuss uh, in this particular broadcast as I'm kind of uh, in route to my meeting is that I want to talk about the stimulus package and the effect that it may have on the retail stock market. Now look, what I don't want to see out of many people, and I know that it's going to happen, is the fact that many people are going to take their tax return money or they're going to take their stimulus check and they're going to bury that immediately in a retail investment within the stock market. Now, that influx of money coming into the market is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. That's going to benefit all of us and the economy as a whole. What I don't want to see and what I caution people not to do is I don't want to see people, you know, use money that that's really there for them in this very trying time to pay bills, you know, pay the rent, put food on the table, support the children, whatever the case may be. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to lose money or invest money that you cannot lose, ladies and gentlemen, because that would absolutely be tragic. Now, many of you have seen, you know, the rags to riches Ferrari money story that you see where somebody invested, say their $1,400 or maybe that household stimulus of uh, maybe call it $2,800, uh, say. And those people invested all of that and bought a hot stock. And the next thing you know, you know, they've got $50,000 in their bank account as a result of that investment. Folks, I want you to be realistic with your expectations. I can tell you that that Ferrari money, as it were, does not come easily. Usually that's a long grind. Yes, some people can hit a grand slam here and there. Yes, some people hit the lottery. And uh, yes, the chances are exponentially negative against you with respect to that happening. So what I don't want to see is for people to take that stimulus money, uh, bury it in a retail investment and come out absolutely empty handed. That is, again, is just a tragic situation. Now, 
the government is taking on a lot of debt to put this money into the hands of the taxpayers. Unfortunately, the rescue bill is uh, laden with pork uh, in which money, taxpayer money, uh, that you and I pay every year uh, is allocated towards programs that won't even start paying until 2023, 2024. A lot of uh, foreign aid that, uh, and it's contingent upon your opinion, we at Go Green try to stay, stay apolitical, but let's face it, those are American taxpayer dollars that are being uh, allocated to countries abroad uh, when we are here in a, you know, coming, hopefully coming off of a pandemic situation. In any case, uh, were all that money allocated, the $1.9 trillion, were, was every penny of that allocated to those uh, American citizens or taxpayers, everyone would receive about five to $6,000 a piece. Yes, that could be be a uh, amount of money that could cause some economic movement, if you will, uh, as a result of stimulus were all American taxpayers receiving that benefit, but they're not. So what you're going to see is a $1,400 stimulus check. Um, that's not a negative thing per se. Uh, that's, that is going to help boost the economy and the retail uh, investment community, as it were, the stock market directly. So we are and should see some more bullish activity in the market as a result. We've also seen uh, a predicted increase in bond yields. So that is a good thing moving forward. So what the Fed is doing is they are essentially ignoring or negating, as it were, uh, any concerns about inflation. So that's not such a bad thing in order to spur growth. Uh, again, though, I just want you to be careful to do that uh, IRT. We've talked about that many times and we'll continue to do so. IRT is an acronym for Individual Risk Threshold. In other words, can you afford and is it, it, is it intelligent to allocate that money, uh, especially into, you know, when I see folks take all of their money and invest it into a high volatility stock like HCMC, and that's not to downplay or or uh, to talk negatively about that particular security. But again, uh, high risk securities bring high risk. So that can be problematic. In other words, folks, you can lose all your money. Uh, and I don't want to see that happen. In any case, as a result of the stimulus, uh, we should see an influx of money coming into the market. Uh, we should see stocks moving in a northerly direction. We've seen an increase of uh, tech stocks today as a result of the bond yields. Uh, we may see some retraction in our energy stocks, so be careful there. But in any case, I just wanted to share that with you, share my concerns. You know, it's important to spur the economy and spending and retail investment market by putting money in, but it's also intelligent to make sure when it's not appropriate to keep the money out. Uh, in any case, patience is key. Patience equals gain. We talk about that a lot on Go Green Investments, and we will continue to do so. So I will leave you with that. I am almost at my destination. I hope you have a productive rest of your day, and keep your money in the green, folks. Great to talk to you, and take care.